Hi, I'm Martin Richards for Imperial Productions. At Martin Richards Design, we've created the finest collection of metal panels on the web at imperialproductions.com. In this video, we'll explore our two series of metal panels, Viceroy and Princess. I'll look at the various materials we have to offer, how to find the right panel on our website. We'll look at tin panel styles. We'll have a look at our custom and historic recreations ceiling preparation, how to plan your tin ceiling project, and how to install tin ceilings and finish them. Imperial's extensive collection has been divided into two groups, Fast Scan and Full Details. Fast Scan presents all the panels on one page. Simply click on the photo card to connect to the full page with all prices, details, and optional finishes. The full detail collection are sorted into classic, ultra-modern, and coffered styles, kitchen backsplashes, fillers, and friezes. Each grouping offers you the complete collection with links to the full page to view optional finishes, prices, and more movies. Tin panels were traditionally used in the 1800s to create a look of ornate plaster without the expense. Well, that's in the past. Today, we have a huge selection of ultra-modern panels that create an outstanding display. Both modern and classical panels are a valued decorative element in your residential and commercial projects. From a price point, our panels are very cost-effective, and unlike fake plastic panels, you know they are real. Metal is a non-combustible material meeting the fire code for kitchens and commercial projects. It's time to think outside the box when using metal panels. You can use them everywhere. On interior ceilings or under decks and porticos, on walls, within door panels for kitchens and closets, in elevators kitchen utility closets, kitchen backsplashes, in bathrooms, the face of bars, and behind the display of bottles. Home theaters, TV theaters, movie sets. Use them as a background for store fixtures and displays and commercial bars. You can use them everywhere. Imperial offers two series of panels, Viceroy and the Princess line both offering varied solutions. All panels are considered paint grade with the optional factory finishes, making an impressive lineup. Viceroy series offers 50 panels with classical, modern, and coffered designs. These are available in a multitude of materials. Real tin, although authentic, is actually tin plated on steel. Steel rusts over time and is not suggested for exterior applications or areas where humidity is an issue. Aluminum looks like real tin, however, it doesn't rust, and it's much lighter for installation. Each panel weighs 0.94 pounds or 425 grams, and is 26 gauge. Solid copper is the perfect solution for the upscale market and commercial settings. Left untreated, it will age brown, then eventually it goes green. For those that want aged solid copper, it's available in a patina pre-finish. Each panel of copper weighs 1.76 pounds or 800 grams. Aside from the multiple materials, Viceroy offers kitchen backsplash panels that are pre-cut to 48 inches by 24 inches. They also have filler rolls, and filler panels. Some have unique theme panels. Although all panels are stamped out by machines, only Viceroy series offers customization. One of your designs, like a company logo or family crest, um, can be easily created for you. For building exteriors, broken classical elements can be recreated in aluminum or copper that will not rust. Viceroy's unfinished panels can be installed just as is. However, factory finished panels create a far better professional look. Over time, all panels oxidize, turning duller, and in the case of copper, brown, and then green. 
Clear coating covers the minute scratches from production and prevents oxidization. For copper, it reduces the risk of finger marks that show up later as they turn brown. White prime panels are ready to paint. Electroplated panels provide a bonded finish to the panel in both solid and mottled colors. Reverse painting is a highlighting process that creates an aged effect and more interest that accentuates the patterns. Hand painted series is, creates, is created by artists with variances within each panel. These exquisite series create antique effects and multicolor panels, coppers, silvers, and golds. For real copper, a patina is offered to create an aged solid copper look. Our Princess series is available in tin plated on steel with an impressive 57 factory finishes. Princess also can be installed in the traditional overlap method, but they also offer snap together panels. Princess panels offer an optional acoustical padding behind the panels for T-bar applications. Each panel weighs 1.65 pounds or 750 grams. For both lines, there are crown moldings, freezes, and fillers, all available factory finish to match your panels. For those that want to finish the panels themselves, Imperial offers the best selection of panel paints. These include primers, flat Renaissance colors, bright high gloss paints, and even fluorescence for retro projects. As highlights, consider our line of metal leaf paints that include five types of golds, silvers, interference silver and gold, copper, bronze, and even gunmetal. This panel right here, I did, and I painted it and used the gold leaf paint with a piece of paper towel rubbed on the gold for an antique effect, so anybody can do it. Regardless of the series and the finish, when looking at a panel, always hold it in the position where it will be installed. If it's going to go on the ceiling, look at the panel holding it up. As you'll see, the panel gets darker. Imperial offers sample panels, small little pieces like this, that you can take home and put up onto the ceiling. To compensate for the shadowing effect, use up lighting to illuminate your wonderful tin ceilings. Up lights can be achieved by chandeliers, wall sconces and floor lamps that hide upward focus spotlights and of course that 70s invention track lighting preferably mounted to the perimeter of the walls and behind light balances imperial sells open crowns and light balances to hide your lighting we have over 300 ceiling medallions and crown moldings you can paint them with our approved paints to create a fabulous finish. Panels are available in nail-up and drop-in versions. Nail-up panels are installed one on top of the other with nested grooves on each panel. Drop-in panels fit into T-bar ceilings that provide access to utilities in the ceilings. The panel has a flat perimeter ridge, so the panel sits in the geometric frame. This is advantageous for commercial projects and basements. The Princess series has framed panels that interlock into each other and hide the screws or nails. In this video, we're approaching the subject from a design point of view. Each pattern offers various advantages. When there are small, multiple repeat patterns, you create more detail on the ceiling or wall thus amplifying the size of the room. Remember, the more detail you add, the larger the space looks due to the enhanced detail. A smaller repeated pattern allows one to cut the panel anywhere, just as if you had damask wallpaper. It simply looks better than cutting a larger pattern. Larger panels look better if they're framed as whole grouped panels. Imperial has a huge selection of casings and panel molds to create frames. In planning your project, nail-up panels are placed on top of each other, nested together. 
You can think of your ceiling layout in multiple ways. We're going to examine three types of plans that you can use. In plan one, treat your layout as if it's a large photograph or watercolor painting that requires a border or mat. This mat is called a filler and is available in single, double panels and rolls. The filler goes around the perimeter of the ceiling as and is installed first. Run a string line to mark the middle of the ceiling for guidance as you install the panels outward towards the filler. You will end up on top of the filler roll. Finish off with crown moldings to cover up the end of the panels. Plan two is a simple approach that treats the ceiling as a full panel. Start from the middle and cut the panels when you reach the perimeter. Plan three creates coffers to place the panels into. They can be cut pre to pre-subscribe coffers or you can create coffers around each group of panels. Imperial has both panel molds, casings, and full deep coffers for panel framing. Ceiling preparation is extremely important. There are a few factors that will affect the final result of your install. Use your stud finder and locate the ceiling joists. Normally, they are 16 inch on center. With a chalk line, mark all the joists. Some of our clients put the aluminum panels directly on the flat drywall ceiling, affixing them to the joists with both glue and nails. Other clients prefer furring strips screwed into the joists or full sheets of chipboard. Regardless of the method, the flat ceiling is your objective. When you have a popcorn plaster ceiling on concrete or drywall, it is recommended to cover the popcorn with full sheets of ply or chipboard. To remove the popcorn, it's a very messy job and requires you to wet the popcorn first to prevent the dust before scraping it off. For buildings made prior to the 1980s, I'll just make you aware that some of the popcorn contains asbestos. Therefore, wear the necessary ventilators and gloves, or I would recommend you seek professional help for removal. So instead of removing it, just cover it up. Here's a few install tips. It's important to wear gloves when handling the panels as they're very sharp. Panels can be cut with an extended straight tin step or a metal guillotine that you can buy from Imperial. Rather than being on two ladders with two people, you might consider a temporary step-up platform to get you closer to the ceiling. Existing ceiling fixtures are always an obstacle to straightforward installations. Always use an electric probe on the ceiling to locate the electric wires that are embedded under the drywall or concrete and mark the wires. For pot lights, you can use a panel drilling hole mechanism called a roto zip saw or a drill bit that will cut out the circles. Rely on pot light trim kits to cover the panel hole. Imperial has over 300 medallions to choose from and these can be placed over the metal panels to provide a very exciting look. We also have circle packs there are four panels that create a metal ceiling medallion. For installation, we suggest you use glue, cone head nails, serrated nails, or a brad, nail, brad nailer with nails with small heads to attach to drywall, furring strips, joists, or plywood. Always order about 20% more panels than you need to cover off corners and wastes from error. Metal crown molding makes a wonderful finish to your tin ceilings. When installing crown molding, they're placed on a 45 degree angle. Use a level to mark the projection outward on the ceiling from the wall and from the ceiling down the wall. Those two measurements will be the same. Put one length to the corner and cope the other length to the intersect of the straight lengths. If this is too much for you, we also sell pre-made corners. Imperial also has hundreds of non-metal crown molding that can be painted with our specialty paints to match your panels if you don't choose, if you can't find one in the tin ceiling selection. 
As we've told you, all the panels are available unpainted or factory primed, electroplated or painted. If you're a do-it-yourselfer or a contractor, we suggest priming and painting all the panels prior to installing them and touching them up after they're in place. Imperial has the finest collection of metallic leaf paints, including golds, silvers, coppers, and bronzes. We carry the necessary primers and high gloss Renaissance colors and fluorescent paints for retro projects. In this video, we tried to look at tin ceilings from a design perspective so that you could plan your projects well. Nothing looks better in interior, residential, and commercial design than metal panels. They create a spectacular focal point in any room with any design style. Imperial has the ultimate choice in modern to classical metal creations. Thank you for your time and we hope you enjoyed the tin panel collection. To order, click on the submit order form with each panel, email us or phone us at 1-800-399-7585 to get a quote. As a reminder, we ship worldwide.